Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Laff here. Um, on this video here, I'm going to discuss um, Android tablets and iPads. Now, I've been running an Android tablet for, you know, a couple of years now, a year and a half, I should say. It's about a year and a half old. And uh, I got a smartphone, but I got one of the old, older smartphones, which is a, a flip-up phone. So, what I'm going to discuss here is I purchased the iConnect which is like the i-manifold, but it's a wireless type of setup. And, um, you know, it's an expensive device. It's it's very, very um, techy and uh, next level type of stuff. Uh, it's, it's extremely um, helpful if you need airflow and it can do so much stuff. But I had all kinds of problems, you know, staying connected, connected, connected. Um, I was able to, you know, connect to the tablet with the iManifold or the iConnect, but I kept losing my probes, like, all the time. And, um, you know, sometimes I would go out in the field, it would work fine, other times I would lose connection. And I had all my stuff set up right there, it wasn't like I, it was a distance problem, and it's been going on all, all summer. And uh, I recently sent all my stuff back to Jim Burtman, which is from Stride Tools. He's a stand-up guy. He's a, he's a good dude. And uh, he did, you know, tests on all the stuff. And there was a couple of things he says that, you know, might have been uh, wrong in there as far as it was saying. It was stating it was an iManifold instead of an iConnect. And he tested it a bunch of times with his um, iPad, and he had no issues. Now, I sent my droid type of um tablet android based tablet in also so he could check it and whatnot and um from what he says was um he was having a problem trying to understand what was going on with my stuff so i told him to turn the tablet on and uh, i told him how i would you know connect the probes and the the eye connect and stuff and it happened right to him on a the desk there so supposedly it did his thing and um he says uh, he made some adjustments and sent it back to me. And um, I started it up. It seemed to work okay for the first day and stuff. And then um, the next day I was having problems with it again. It wasn't, it wasn't connecting to the probes. The probes weren't connecting, you know. So um, in the meantime, I got the smart tool, which a lot of guys have got the smart tool. I wanted to try it out and see what it is. Just basically, it's not as good as the iManifold. It just does superheat and subcool. Um, it's kind of, it's got, it's what's wireless, basically. Um, so I wanted to get it. It was like $800, $700 or whatever the spile. So I got it. And uh, I was having a hard time connecting to my, um, my tablet, which is an Android-based tablet. I couldn't connect the probes. I mean, I tried and tried and tried. Um, I went in there and tried turning Bluetooth on, and I tried. And I would get the, the probes connected, and then um, they would drop out. And so I said, this thing's a piece of shit. This Android tablet is giving me all kinds of problems. So this is probably what's happening with the iConnect right along. So I went down, and uh, I talked to, you know, um, Verizon. That Verizon is the best overall... Um, phone reception that I could get in my area. Oh, by none, Verizon's the best. So the tablet I have has its own phone number. I pay $10 a month, so it's just like a cell phone. It's got its own number. And I couldn't use my cell phone on the iConnect for the simple reason it's an older version. Let me see if I can get it. All right, guys, I couldn't use my cell phone, which is a smartphone, but, it, it you know, it's the Droid, uh, Droid 4 but it's, you know, it's it's the slide-up version. I wanted to get that because I like the keyboard. But um, this is not compatible with either the iConnect or the Smart Tool. It's an older phone. So I couldn't compare this to my tablet. Now, the tablet I've been running has been a G4. You know, a G4 Verizon tablet, which is about a year and a half old. And I talked to the lady down there at, at the Verizon store. And she says, this thing... This thing should be fine. Shouldn't be an issue, uh, you know. And it has its own phone number also. So it's not like I'm losing Wi-Fi and nothing like that. It's um, it's supposed to be a 7-inch a one. 
and it's supposed to, you know, pick up the Bluetooth and uh, the wi uh, Zigbee wireless signals or whatever them guys use. Shouldn't be an issue. It's Verizon. But it's an Android base setup. Now, I had a lot of problems with this son of a bitch. I'm about ready to shoot it with my 9mm. Or even my 45 would probably make a better video. I'm about ready to. Um, this thing, all this thing is good for is a paperweight. If you're going to use this for the iConnect or the smart tool, you know, the, you know, the iConnect, it will come up, see? I connect, connect, connect. But when I go to turn my probes on, a lot of times they won't come connect. It'll just be a, a, a straight line here. So, you know, I can connect this thing to the iManifold. I, I connect, not an issue. But when I go to turn my probes on, a lot of times my probes aren't coming on. It's not connected to probes. Now, the moral to the story is, what I did was I bought myself a little iPod, iPad mini. All right, guys, so I got myself a little iPad mini, and this thing is, this thing is killer, man. Uh, this thing will connect no problem. You know, not an issue. So it's an iPad Mini 3. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because, you know, that thing, I still got another, you know, month or so. I had to buy this thing out directly so I could get connected, connected, connected. I was having all kinds of problems with the Android-based tablets. And I'm letting you guys know, if you want to get the iConnect or, you know, the smart tool, Apple's the way to go. This Android Android tablet's a piece of shit. Excuse my French. It thinks trash. And it's not only me that have been having problems. There's been a bunch of guys having problems. You know, I talked to a handful of guys that had problems with the Android tablets. Not connected. Not, not connected, connected, connected. Mama, we're not connected, Mama. No, we're not connected. Android, uh, Apple base is a much more stable base. And it's it works so much better. So... This is why I'm doing this video, to maybe help someone out. Because a lot of guys watch my videos, and they want to get the iConnect, um, you know, which is a great tool. You know, it can do so much stuff. You can do airflow, uh, reporting, and everything. You know, it's an expensive son of a bitch. It's $1,800 just to buy that. It's not including the tablet. And, the, uh, is you know, it's expensive. You're depending on this as a screen. Now, if you got this Android piece of shit, okay... You're going to have problems. Just letting you know. Because I know I did. I had a whole bunch of problems. And I'm not the only one. So I'm doing this video to help out the other guys. If you want to go with um, a, a manifold that has no screen. Okay. Do yourself a favor. Take the Android and use it as a paperweight in your, in your office. And get the Apple. Because the Apple... Is a much better setup. Now, I've never been an Apple fan. I've always been an Android. I got a Droid phone. You know, I've had an Android tablet, and I have Windows computer. And I'm not a, I'm not an Apple guy at all. But I'll tell you what. After the problems I had with that Android uh, tablet, I'm all done with them. I'm all done. I'm going to Apple. I'm switching everything over to the iPad, and I'm getting an iPhone. Like in like this, the end of the month, I'm getting an iPhone. I'm all done with the um, the Android uh, setup. All done. Bullshit, you know. Uh, when I go out and hook up my gauges to a condensing unit, the fuck I better connect. I can't be, you know, I'm not connected, 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 and I gotta go out and get my testos. It's bullshit. Flipping straight up bullshit, you know. What good is a tool if it don't connect? You're only as good as the tablet you're running. You know? This has just been my experience. And um, I'm a little pissed off with the Android. You know? Because I spent good money on it. You know? It'll connect, it'll connect to the iManifold, no problem. But it won't, the probes won't connect. You know, then I got to shut them off, turn them on, shut them off, turn them on. Hopefully they connect. And after time, they don't connect. And I got to go out and get my testos out of my truck to be able to check the refrigerant. And then and then take this thing home, right? And um, take all the probes, delete all the probes, and reprogram all the probes like I did fucking 12 times already. Bullshit.
It wasn't the probes. It wasn't the I manifold. It was this piece of shit. Okay? It was this piece of shit Android based tablet that was giving me all the problems. So, you know, they can have the, the, the greatest tools in the world, but if they're going to use something that you're going to use as a backup, as a piggyback, and that thing's, a, that thing's not working right, Android based piece of shit, what good is it? You know? That's why when I said on my first video, they should have a screen on, 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 on the stuff, you know? There's nothing like this screen because it's expensive. But I'm just saying, if you're going to go with something, get yourself an Apple and save yourself a lot of flipping headaches. Now, I couldn't check on my phone to see if the if it was the tablet or if it was the iManifold, it was the probes. I didn't think it was, um, you know, my, my uh, tablet because I could connect to the iManifold all the time. It was never an issue with me dropping out the iManifold, connect, boom, done. It was just the probes connecting them. That's the Zigbee, Zigbee uh, signal, whatever it is. So I, my phone is is older. I couldn't check, you know. So you don't know if if, it, if it's um, you know, the I manifold or the probes or whatever's going on there between all that stuff. What the problem is, you know, it's not Jim Burton's fault, you know. It's not really my fault. I don't think it's anybody's fault. But there's flipping. Droid tablet, and like I said, I'm not the only guy. I talked to um, Talon, which had problems. Ralph had problems. Uh, a few other guys that I talked to had problems with it not connected. And then they went, you know, to the to the um, Apple uh, iPad. No more issues. All the issues go away. So what does that tell you? What the, what's the problem? You know. Something's going on with the tablet. Now, I could you check my emails and uh, stuff like that with my, my Android, no problem. But I'm just saying, for the iManifold or the smart tool, you're much better off with an Apple-based tablet. You know, and I like the, the little 7-inch screen. I like the little 7-inch screen. It's perfect. It's nice and thin. Look how thin that thing is. It fits right inside my bag. This is for guys that work on HVAC stuff I'm talking to, you know? If you're a homeowner, you could probably care less about this, but... Here home, you know, and I got all my stuff here. I got the smart tool, uh, I got the iConnect, you know, AAB, whatever I want in there. This is... So anyway, guys, I'm sorry for the rant, but I'm trying to help out the new guys that are, you know, coming up. And they're going to be going down the same road that I just walked. You know, I don't want to see anybody have issues. You know, we spend good money on these tools. You're going to get the iConnect, okay? Uh, you probably look at $1,800 for the iConnect. And then you have to rely on a tablet to get the screen. Now, if you've got a tablet that's giving you all kinds of problems, you know, you don't want that. $1,800 is a big investment for us guys. Even if you go with the smart tool, that's like, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks for the smart tool. And it still relies on the tablet as a screen. So that's why I'm doing this video to give you guys a heads up for what I ran into and all the headaches I had. I'm telling you, I was ready to, to, to run that son of a bitch over with my truck a bunch of times. You know, go out there in the field, carry the little unit out there, and then the thing won't work. Bullshit. Well, I need my tools to work. And it wasn't the iConnect's fault. It was that flipping tablet, that Android-based piece of shit tablet. You know? Like I said, it's not only me that's been having problems. It's been a bunch of guys. So you can't say, well, it's the tablet that's bad. No, it's the, it's the Android base um, that's junk. Apple is much better. Much better. I bought that Apple... I had to pay for it full out because my other one wasn't up on contract yet. I still got another month, a couple of months to go on the other one. I paid for that thing straight up. I brought it home. I started playing with it. It was like night and day. So much, so much better. Like I said, I'm not an I'm not an Apple guy, but I'm never going back to Android. Never. I'm ready to hit that son of a bitch with my 45. I like to take it to the range and just shoot the son of a bitch. Make a good video, I'm sure. But anyway, that's the deal, guys. Sorry for the rant. Um, just a little heads up for you guys. Um, if you want to go this why you want to go this this route with all this high tech bullshit, get yourself an Apple. Save a lot of headaches. 
All right. Have a good day and stay subscribed.